Hello Murfield Free Grammar School. Uh, my name's Tom Palmer and I write children's books and you've sent me some questions which I've got here on my computer and thank you very much for sending the questions and I hope these answers are alright and I'm really sorry it's taken me ages to um, reply to you but I've just moved house to Halifax in fact and um, anyway I'll start rabbiting on and answer your questions. So question one. This is from Azair and Louisa Haig. What inspired you to become an author and is this what you always wanted to be? Um, I was inspired to be an author by these, I suppose. Um, I started reading when I was about 17. I didn't really enjoy reading when I was younger. Um, I got into reading through football and once I got confident reading, I read more broadly. So, um, although you can probably see on this side, there's still a load of sports books. Um, I got to read about all sorts of different things um, and that made me want to be a writer, I think because um, I enjoyed reading other people's books it filled my head with stories and um, I didn't always want to be a writer to be honest before I read as a hobby I didn't really have any ambitions um, other than to go to watch Leeds United play um, but which is fine but there's more to life than that probably anyway um, so that's that's um, that's what got me into wanting to be a writer right next question this is from Iman at what age did you start writing books I started writing books as a hobby when I was about 20 um, um, when I was about 20 but I started getting published when I was about 35 I think sort of 35 36 um, and my first book actually is somewhere around here here it is and now uh, there it is it's about being a Leeds United fan um, but I have sort of moved on since then not to another football club but to sort of different subjects right Dulcie Carr and Lucy Crawshaw ask what qualifications did you need to become an author that is a really good question lots of people think you need qualifications like degrees or in English or, or even degrees in, in creative writing to be an author you don't they can help I went on a I did a degree when I was about 22 and um, it was in foreign literature in translated into English but literature from different countries and that helped me a lot because I understood how to read more and that helped me learn how to write better I think um, but really the, the main qualification there's two qualifications for wanting to be an author and one is to enjoy reading and to read lots because you learn how to become a writer through reading in my opinion and the other is a passion if you have a passion um, whatever you love or whatever it really annoys you write about it because that is what's going to make your writing meaningful and um, so I write about things that annoy me such as um, footballers being trafficked in Africa I wrote a book about that once because it was something I knew was a, a major crime right good question well they're all good questions Harrison asks do you base your books on your experiences in real life that's a really good question too yes to an extent like I wrote a ghost story about someone being possessed and that although it was nothing like what happened to my friend I drew on things that happened to my friend who believed that they were possessed and um, if I don't have an experience that I want to write about I try and replicate that experience so for instance once I went to camp in a football stadium overnight because I needed to describe that in a book I was writing. So I sometimes draw on things I know, but I sometimes seek out experiences to write about. Mark Wedgwood, Wedgwood sorry. Um, Mark Wedgwood, how long did it take you to write Killer Pass? Killer Pass took about three months. I didn't have to research it abroad or anything like that because it was based in, in England. So the only, and I didn't really have to do that much research for that one because I, well, I read about well, you know how Liverpool players got burgled a lot um, about six or seven years ago I read a lot about that um, and I also um, spoke to burglars who I happened to come across and um, found out about the mentality of burglars which I did in a prison because I went to do some work in a prison 
and that helped. And it's being a writer is brilliant because you you can sort of say, "Hello, I'm a writer. I want to ask what it feels like to do this." And mostly people are really good and um, open up to you. It's brilliant. That's why I like it. I think Emily Shires and Megan Franz ask, "What was your inspiration to write Killer Pass?" My inspiration to write Killer Pass was um, partly it was the fourth book in the series and I wanted to write about more football and crime. Partly knowing that the Liverpool players have been burgled and I thought it would be interesting to explore that as a story. That if a fan found out that footballers were being burgled, what would he do? Or what would she do to try and stop it? And fourthly, or is it thirdly, I can't remember, money. And I got paid £10,000 to do it and that was an important motivation too. Lewis. In your opinion, what's so effective about this book? Um, it's hard for an author to say what's effective about their own book because you sound a bit full of yourself, but to be honest with you, I try to make it effective. So what I tried to do was make it exciting, put danger and cliffhangers in it, um, but also find out some real stuff that... I remember when I was writing it, I read about criminology, about how how crime works, how people get into crime. In fact, I've got, just a minute, somewhere here, here we go. So these are two books. I read these two books. This is called A Very Short History of Criminology and this is called The Seductions of Crime, A Chilling Exploration of the Criminal Mind from Juvenile Delinquent to Cold-Blooded Murder. And I read about criminology and it basically this is about why people get into crime and it's not just it's not just what they do, it's that they like to do things that are wrong, some people, according to this book. And that's, that helps me get my burglar character right. Um, I can't remember what I was going on about. And that's, that's, that's what I I wanted to in introduce ideas like this to, to children or young people like yourselves because um, you don't always get exposed to that sort of stuff in books, maybe. I don't know. That's my shut up. Dan is there anything you would change in this book? It's a good question every book you write once it's out you want to change it but you just have to let it go so no is the answer to that but it's a good question. John is being an author a well-paid job do you have any other jobs other before becoming an author and um, being an author isn't bad at the moment I'm getting paid £2,500 for each book I write Previously, I was getting 10,000, so it's gone down a bit, but um, it's up and down. But it's not enough, because say one of them comes out a year, it's not enough to live on, so I do other stuff like I get paid to go into schools, and I create literacy resources for schools and libraries as well. And the jobs I had before were Milkman University lecturer, warehouse worker, visual display unit operator which is like a typist on computers um, festi oh, librarian, bookshop bookseller um, and literature festival organiser Lauren asks what do you enjoy about being an author I enjoy lots about being an author I enjoy being my own boss so I can go where I want and do what I want most of the time and that's really nice rather than having someone sort of standing over you saying do this do that but when, that, when you are in that position, when you work for yourself, it's a risk. And sometimes you feel like you don't have enough money and you don't have the secure security of knowing that you've got money coming in. Like in, for the next three and a half weeks, I'm earning nothing, um, which come September, October might be a problem. But later I know I'm earning more, so it sort of evens even now. Um, but I love being an author. I love being an author. Um, I get to travel, I get to make up stories, I do what my hobby is as a job and if you can do your hobby as a job then um, it's a brilliant thing because it will make you happy in my opinion. Billy Joe, who or what inspired you to read books? My mum inspired me to read books, she knew I was struggling with reading and she got me reading about what I wanted to know about which was football back to Leeds United and then um, she got me reading short things about football instead of saying you must read because reading is good for you because when people told me that reading was good for me 
and that reading was good. So why aren't you reading? I used to feel that I was bad. You see what I mean? So, and you need to be shown things that you want to read that will make you happy because you're interested in finding out about them. Um, so really good question again. And that is the last question. I think I'll just check to the bottom of the email. That is the last question. Um, thank you very much for listening to this. Um, just over 10 minutes. I'm sorry I rambled on a bit. They're very good questions. And I know it's um, nearly time for the summer holidays. So have a good time. And thank you very much for um, for asking me those questions. Goodbye.